Michael Jackson only ever rented the house where he died. It recently sold for $18 million. His real financial worth is still debated. The house is now a fixture on the celebrity bus tours. When Michael Jackson moved here, it was supposed to mark a new chapter in his life, a comeback that would earn him millions. Instead, it's where he died. And four years on, the battle over his legacy and those millions seems to grow only more intense. Jackson died on the eve of a series of comeback concerts in London, what he felt would bring financial security. Four years, imprisonment. Two years later, his personal doctor was convicted of involuntary manslaughter, negligence in administering the surgical anaesthetic the star demanded to help him sleep. Conrad Murray remains in prison. But Jackson's family wanted more. They came to court claiming that the concert promoter AEG Live was to blame for wrongful death, that it was negligent in hiring and supervising Dr. Murray. AEG Live said it was Jackson himself who was responsible. The star's eldest son, Prince, was among the witnesses during five months of evidence. He described his father's attempts to give the children a humble life and seeing him as he lay dying. He claimed Jackson said the comeback tour was going to kill him. But one of the star's friends who cared for those children says Jackson would not have wanted them exposed to court drama. He didn't want his children to have that pressure. He just wanted them to grow up to be natural kids. So my opinion is I loved Michael Jackson, I love his children, and I want people to know that he was a completely authentically beautiful parent and a fantastic musician. But even in death, the King of Pop remains part of a celebrity dynasty that, according to those who've witnessed it up close, will never die. There will always be that insatiable thirst for Jackson-related information, news, controversy, issues, things like that. So I have a feeling with a new generation of Jacksons coming up, and the problems that have already surfaced with respect to the kids. Um, I just think it's going to be an ongoing, continuing saga. His fans never got to see that comeback. To them, his value is in no doubt. To others, the debate will rage on. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.